Well, President Trump's pick of Judge Brett Kavanaugh was not Judge Amy Coney Barrett, my favorite and many social conservatives' choice to become the next justice on the Supreme Court. I believe it was a brilliant move on the chessboard of real politic. Well, Amy Coney Barrett was one of President Trump's favorite, if not his number one favorite. He realized that now was not the time to fight a divisive and drained out battle for her nomination as the House and especially the Senate elections are coming up this November. President Trump knows that without a Republican Senate in 2019, he is a profoundly weakened executive held, in many cases, at the mercy of senatorial prerogative, and in the case of a Democrat majority, the prerogative could be disastrous. While many of my social conservative patriots are profoundly disappointed with President Trump's pick, as I was at first, let me explain why I think in the long run it was a brilliant move dealing with the cards he has been dealt as he is an expert on knowing when to hold them and when to fold them. Republicans hold a very thin majority in the Senate with 51 Republicans and with liberal Republicans John McCain of Arizona, Susan Collins of Maine, and Lisa Murkowski of Alaska, Trump understands there is little room for error. I was passionately for Amy Coney Barrett declaring if the Democrats and liberal Republicans give us a fight and pull a filibuster, we should just pull the nuclear option where the Senate majority simply ignores the tradition of the filibuster and the 60 supermajority and calls for a simple majority vote. But it isn't, the case, it isn't that easy. With all the Democrats voting against Amy Coney Barrett and at least two liberal Republicans voting against her due to her passionate pro-life views, simple math shows you a 49 Senate Republican vote would fail. Unlike Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump understands political numbers, and he was brilliant at destroying Hillary and the Democratic machine at Electoral College numbers in 2016. The same applies to the upcoming 2018 November elections, as polls show that the five key Senate battleground states of Florida, Indiana, Missouri, North Dakota, and West Virginia show voters want their incumbent Democrat senators to confirm Trump's Republican nomination. Even liberal Republicans are sounding like they will vote for Brett Kavanaugh. Now, I know my thinking about Trump's strategy will upset a number of my social conservative patriot friends, but politics is the art of the possible, the attainable, the art of the next best. And in the long run, hopefully sooner than later, President Trump will pick Judge Amy Conant Barrett to the Supreme Court, securing a court of conservative legacy for many years to come. I'm Dr. Jake Jacobs, and we'll see you next time on One Nation. Thank you.